So welcome back today, CISG 114, section 1. Today is date number 28. It's 28 something, yes, 28. Um, today is date number 28 into the semester. It's November the 26th, 2015. Okay, let me first start by uh, helping you to understand the end of semester course survey result that we did last week. Uh, this particular survey is modeled after the real student feedback questionnaire you're supposed to do next Monday when you come back. Okay, because next Monday we are going to invite you, um, particularly in about 50, uh, 30 minutes time in class, the very last day of the semester, to do this SFQ, student feedback questionnaire, through your student web link. Now, this end of the semester course survey that you did last week was actually modeled after the student feedback questionnaire because I find the student feedback questionnaire it's very well designed and it is highly recommended by the school management that we need to administer uh, questionnaire of this type throughout the semester to find out the responses of the student. So let me walk through this end of the semester course survey so that you got some sense on what your fellow students are thinking. The first question asks, the design of the course helped me to learn. If you look at the result of this, out of the 16 students who did this particular course survey, some of you did not do it, um, two strongly agree, 11 agree, and three neutral. I got at least 13 people in this particular room who would support that this course helped you learn. So this is a very encouraging sign for me. Let's take a look at the second question. Um, the learning objectives and outcomes of this course were clear to me. Now, if you read the syllabus, you understand that we have three specific course learning objectives together with six possible course intended learning outcomes. Well, these are very important for us as we go into the course because whatever you do in the learning contract one, two, or three, well, now you skip learning contract number two. But basically, design how to accomplish those outcomes with the specific teacher's expectations, we call it course learning objectives. And so, if you look at the result of this, nine of you say, yes, we agree that it's clear to me. Seven of you, somewhat fuzzy, I do not disagree, I do not agree, but it's okay, something like this. Well, I hope that through the explanations today, that you will have a better understanding of this. Question number three. Lectures and course materials were well prepared and well organized in this course. I tried to do my best through the Moodle environment. So you can see the 15 weeks information, specific learning activities, uh, whatever, submissions, length, uh, teachers' interactions are installed there. So I got 12 people who support that. The course, lectures, and materials are well prepared and organized. Four who say it's okay. I could see that that neutral is okay, la, all right? So, and then question number four. Homework and assignments were relevant, well designed, fair. Well, in this semester, you have basically three assignments. Uh, the three assignments are learning contract one with the theme of inquiry-based learning, learning contract number two with the theme of self-regulated learning, and learning contract number three with the theme of problem-based learning, you know that. And each of these contracts is built on top of the other. That means one, IBL, used in SRL, IBL and SRL, used in PBL. And then I got one student who disagreed, who believed that the homework and assignment are not relevant, uh, not well designed, and not fair. So I hope that uh, if you happen to have any disagreement, and you were willing to let me know what is it that you disagree with, I would be more than happy to share with you. The design of this course learning activity is very important to understand why the assignment has been designed that way. Now, normally, if you are transitioning 
transitioning from a taught to learn student to a learn to learn student, many of those techniques will become new to you, but these core, this set of core skills are definitely important when you get into the second year, the third year, the fourth year. Now, the unfortunate fact in many of the college studies, college students are not required to do a cycle of this kind, and so we went through college four years without understanding the importance of such techniques until they've been challenged to use them. And I think this is a course which will challenge you a little bit on how to use those set skills. And I got five students who have said neutral, um, that's not been a law. And I got eight students who group to say three and two students strongly three. So out of the 16 students, I still didn't have about 10 students who understand the meaning of homework and assignment and relevancy and all of this. So it's very important that we have good communications. Sometimes I always, uh, I'm first a little bit confused too. When students have any doubt about assignment, the first thing they need to do is ask questions. Come to my office and ask why is that that way? When you think that it's a heavy workload, uh, which require a lot of a new skill, you need to understand why. So uh, the best way is to understand why you need to do what you have to do, all right? So tests and examinations were relevant, well designed, and fair. In this particular question, the result is I do not have any negative responses, no disagreement. I have two strong agree, nine agree, and four neutral, and one said, well, there's no exam. Yes, there's no final exam, but we do have weaker. So basically, um, I have uh, the support of all of you. So let's take a look at question number six. A feedback on tests and assignments is helpful and provided in a timely manner. If you look at the, the way I try to give you some feedback to get on the score using the rubrics that I provide at the very beginning of the semester, you understand that there are certain expectations behind every piece of work artifact that you produce. And so if you believe that uh, you have not got a good grade, and by checking on the criteria, the rubrics, you speak to understand uh, how much further you need to work on. And here, I do not have any negative response. I one strong agree, 10 agree, and five say, okay, la. So basically, I thank you very much for your support. Now, overall, this course was academically very challenging. I got two persons who believe this is so. I got 12 who believe they are, very ch uh, they are challenging. And I got two, they say, neither challenging nor easy. So, our uh, okay law phenomenons exist, all right? So, you don't have to take, take sides. It's very important that I have to tell you that this is not supposed to be a very challenging course, except for the fact that if you never develop a set of what we call 21st century skills, that is very much emphasize in this course, including practical thinking, communications, writing, reading, um, problem solving, uh, that you will believe that is very challenging, okay? Because in other courses, uh, memorization is the rule of the day, and reproducing knowledge uh, produced by professors during lectures is expected a law. But in this course, we do not have anything like this, okay? Uh, Please rate the overall quality of the course with respect to teaching and learning. And I got one who said very good, 12 say good, and three say neither good nor poor. So you have to understand that when you say neither good nor poor, where are you? Uh, you need to learn how to make decisions on critical thinking judgment. All right, so this is something you have to, uh, you have to answer on your own. But I thank you for your support. And then the course was relevant to my everyday life. Now, this is a very interesting question because whether or not any course you take is relevant to you in your everyday life is actually a making of your own. That's why we say we need to make sense of everything in our living. Uh, normally, a talk to learn student expect a teacher to tell him the answer. Why is it connected? But a learn to learn student will say, well, I've learned something from this course, let me try to connect the knowledge that point in this course to whatever that's relevant to me in my daily living. Fortunately, I do not have any negative responses here. But two students say strongly agree. I mean, this, I would say this too, have definitely made the transitions 
11 degree, that means they're making the transitions. The free set neutral, they're still deciding where to go. All right? Comfort zone is tough to learn. Learn to learn is a difficult thing. So you have to ask yourself, who are you in terms of learning? Compared to most courses, among the workload point of this course was very heavy, six heavy, six normal, two, nine, two. Now, when you say it's very heavy, is that uh, most of the data that we got in courses like this tells us students never experience this process of learning because not the students, not the time in the past are very much polite on a teacher to teach them something. So they never believe that they need to do something extra other than listening in class. Well, when it is a different kind of classroom, in this particular time of G courses, when students discover that they have to do a lot before classes, during classes, after classes, a big summary, at the end of the classes, there will be a lot of heavy work over them. But they will also have to convince themselves that this is what is very important if they want to learn anything. I mean, in the past, the, the, the failure of the education system is that we try to convince our students what you need to do to, con to learn is to remember something for your exam. Exam is the most important thing. But they never know that they have not learned anything if they have done something like this. Well, um, that's the reason why we have very heavy work though. And sometimes Hong Kong, about 10 years ago, they say, go from data. All right? So uh, we do not want to reproduce students in this time anyway. How much of the class was conducted in English on a specific language required by the course? Ten students say, 100%, thank you. Two say, more than 75%, thank you. Three say, about half. I'm in big trouble because the school would tell me, why didn't you speak English all the time? At least three students in your class tells us you never speak English half of the time. Oh my goodness. And then and I have one more student who say, you just speak English for 20% or 40% of the time. Why? We hire you to speak English in class. Why students say you didn't speak English? Fire! I must tell you, this is true. I, I faced the dean a couple of times before. Some student reported that this is been English in class. I say, I speak English all the time. And so I would invite my team to watch my YouTube video. Okay? But think about this. You see? Data. These, these are the data. Alright? So you have to understand it. Okay, how much of the time did I speak in English if I was required to speak or present in class? Except all the time, two said more than half the time, five said less than half of the time, one said never spoke in class and then didn't come to me. Why did you allow students to speak non English in class? This is supposed to be a class to be speaking in English. Your job is to help students speak in English. Now you allow them not to speak in English. What are you doing? You see, I have to answer question. I say, watch my YouTube video. All right, so the use of Moodle in this course for teaching and learning was very helpful by helpful deny neutral too. All right, so, so it's very interesting. Uh, provide any additional comments about this course? Nothing. The professor's nice to answer my question. That is very helpful. Where if you pass some professor knowledge, it will be better. That means I never use my knowledge in this class. Very interesting statement. Very interesting statement. Thank you very much. It's good experience for me to take this course. Thank you. This is a course which is close to my uh, daily night. Uh, thank you very much. Um, too much topic. One per week. Too much. It's okay. Right. Too, it's up to you. Right. I, my job is to give you resources. Did you give the clear message every time? Thank you. All right. So it's very interesting. 
we can have more content about the high level technology such as robot, etc. Okay. Actually, the main, I think there are a lot of, con a lot of contents there. It's very up to you to pick from the website. Yes, a lot of links. Uh, but I, I think what you're trying to say is, if I were to learn in a talk to learn classroom, we should have more content about high-level technology. I think this is the pretext. Unfortunately, this is a learn to learn classroom. You have to be in charge to pick up more content. So this is a you see the kind of uh, uh, implications behind a talk to learn and a learn to learn model. Uh, the course is really a change when compared with other G courses. Thank you. Uh, the learning contract to say the truth is really heavy work known for me, as I do not know why all my courses assigned assignment has been most of my time rushing my assignment in the first semester, but in this course I really enjoy and learn how technology is growing on daily living. But I mean, are you telling us to learn something from the self-regulated learning context? You need to make the best use of time and have a timeline, understand your goals, and make plans. for it. Thank you very much. If this course has less work to do, it will be the best course in your bank. I don't want to give you a lot of work to do, I just want to tell you that this is a set of skills we want you to experience, and in order to acquire a set of skills, you need to experience managing the work in the context of co learning contract. And in the process of doing that, you will grow. Okay, so I don't need to do the other work. Student requires the motivations and completing all the work the course design is excellent. Thank you very much. The course provides a good opportunity to practice our ability to working with others who work as a team and learn a lot during our teamwork. Thank you. All right, instructor, inspire my interest in this subject. Let's take a look at this. My purpose in helping you to transition from a talk to learn student to a learn to learn student is to make sure that I could produce a little bit of the inspiration for you to go on on your own, and I could listen to your speech of the semester to pick up some clues about that. I will be very satisfied. Let's take a look at that. Do you strongly agree? At least I got two students, two students who always step on my side, strongly agree, right? So, and then 10 will say agree, 4, okay, la, right? Have I, have I mentioned this at the very class of the semester that learning is led for a spectator sport? You know what is meant by a spectator sport? Oh, there is a game tonight, let's go watch it. Poor guy, he cannot keep the goal. <laughs> Alright, so spectator sport means you never try to participate. You always play the role of an observer. Alright? So if you become an observer of your own study of learning, it's going to be a pity. So you need to experience it. Alright, so the instructor was responsive to students' questions and problems. I got five strong agree, ten agree, and one neutral. Thank you. The instructor helps create a positive learning environment. I got two strong agree, twelve agree, and two neutral. That's very good. That's what I happen to uh, try hard to achieve that. If you do not feel safe in the classroom to learn and speak your mind, it's going to be a sign of failures on the part of the instructor. If an instructor ever scares students, uh, or that's, you can hardly learn. You need to learn how to collaborate with your instructor, and the instructor must have the collaborations of all the students in order to get something accomplished. The instructor communicates effectively in class. One student says, No, it's a poor communicator. Neutral, okay, la. Ten will say, Yes, and three say, Strongly agree. Yes, I'm never a good communicator. I think many of you communicate much better than me, so come teach me in my classroom, okay? So this is an excellent chance for you to help me to become a better communicator, all right? So, yes, I need to eat the humble pie. Oh, you understand the meaning of eating the humble pie? You must consider, or better say, instructor must consider student as equal parties in the classroom. Rather than because I have a PhD, I'm looking at that. So it never comes to you as if I'm always right. 
So you have all the chance of how to learn. All right. So make sure you make the best use of the communication. The instructor responded to my emails and other class-related communications in a timely manner. I answer a lot of emails and I, I discover a lot of emails sent to me in the middle of the night. So I appreciate your effort. Seven would say strongly agree. Eight would say agree. One would one say okay now that means all of you have experienced my support. Please rate instructors overall teaching. I got three who say very good, twelve who say good, and one who say okay not of the many instructor we met. Okay. Okay, then the instructor started class on time. Look at this. Seven say always. Six say one to two times late. That means I have six students who are here all the time on time and know that I'm late one to two times. Two will say three to four times late. And there's one student who's very careful who keeps track of my coming every day of the semester. He knows that I'm five to six times late. All right? So, it's very important. Never say anything other than this. <laughs> I'm always detected in the class. The instructor's use of class time was efficient. Thank you. I believe I got one student of strong support. He left to say yes and four say okay now. All right? Now, this is something that scares me. Look at that. Did the instructor miss any classes without makeup? Four didn't say never. One student said, I missed two or three classes. According to my record, I've never missed any class. But one student said two to three classes. Another said four to five classes without me go. I'm dead. I'm dead. Because they will say, student report to me. You're a lazy guy. You miss four to five classes without me go. You miss two to three classes without me go. I say, help me watch my YouTube video. I'm there every time. But why did two students say that? You must be a poor guy. What happened to you? Let me know which class I miss. Okay? Please don't do that in the office of student course feedback questionnaire. I'm sure I will not be here next semester. I will be looking for another job. All right? This is a killer, you see? Please don't make a joke, all right? This is a killer. All right? So this is something very serious. I make use of the instructor's office hour weekly, one, several times during class. Well, this is not too dangerous. Class period means during content hour. I mean, this is during semester period. The best is three seconds. The drugs are never. All right, and uh, this is an exciting moment. I just want to make sure, make sure you know that. Uh, the series instructor will always get this uh, survey before the end of the semester, official one, and actually look at the results to avoid misunderstanding. So I'm just making sure that you do not make mistakes at this time. Because personally speaking, I was summoned to the dean's office several times based on the past student questionnaire, and I have to explain very hard. And then I say, keep my videos on YouTube. You just watch it. I'm probably the only teacher in this university who keep all my lectures on YouTube. Save a lot of my explanations. Because you never know sometimes. You never know. And it's a big surprise, but the result of this time turned out and in, in, in this particular class, you know, even though I am here every time, still, at least two students in this class just said something else. I don't know who you are, but if I happen to offend you, don't do that to me, all right? All right. Did the instructor conduct the student feedback into the questionnaire? At least one student said, I did not. Look at that. At least one student said, I did not. But when all the facts is, when you go to look at the model, I conduct the midterm course survey, and I report the result to you. Look at that. It's scary. It's very scary. You never know because this this feedback questionnaire is one way to see collect evidence of the behavior of the teacher, and when students report that, they take it for granted. You see that? It's just like stepping someone on the back. You see the meaning of that, right? 
So please be kind to your instructor. And so as we know, some of the instructors become very nervous. But for me, because I have been practicing open teaching and open learning for a long time, whenever things like this happen, I would look at my YouTube video. And it would, you keep your YouTube class and YouTube video? Oh, I've been doing that for 10 years. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. I didn't know it. We just stopped. How come they said that? But I've been doing that for 15 years. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Uh, will the teacher speak in English more slowly? It will be better. Instructors with patience when we have any question or problem on the presentation, of course, for example, that like this smile that I give you is kind. Thank you. I love that. You know the TV show in 1970, which featured Hui Kun Ban and Hui Kun Yit? That is called Sun Sing for A. And you know one of the tricks they use is they use a hammer. Try it. Because we learn, right? I have been teaching for more than 25 years, but I'm still not perfect. Okay? Right. Can I have more in class discussions about classwork? Well, how can this be done? Tell me. Because you, you have a time slot to do in-class sharing, right? Each one of you can sign up each week for in-class sharing. So if you sign up for in-class sharing, you become the person who do this, not me. Don't you see that? So when I look at this statement, I'm considering you still on a very much sign of talk to learn student. You rely on the teacher to do something for you, instead of you do something for the whole class. Remember, one famous saying presented by the late President of the United States, Jack F. Kennedy. He said, ask not what the countries can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. You understand what it means? Ask not what the instructor can do for you all the time, ask what you can do for the class. You see the meaning of that? If you understand this, you're transitioning yourself from talk to learn student to learn to learn student. And another very famous saying by John Dewey about 120 years ago is that for the instructor who used to teach the kids with a method of yesterday, you are actually robbing the kids of their future. So Margaret Mead, a very famous anthropologist said, because John Dewey has said something like this, teacher, Never use your own method to teach students. Presumably, they can learn using your method. You should always teach your kids with the method they can learn so that they understand what it means. You understand the meaning of that? So I think it's very important that I have to learn from each one of you based on the feedback that you provide so that I can learn how to teach the way you can learn rather than teach the way you are supposed to learn my way. Okay? It's very important to say something like this. All right, I think I've used up my slot time. It's time for me to introduce the speaker of today, the first one. According to the order here, it's um, Renee. Are you ready? Okay, you need uh, to go back to your student equal voting. Okay, so let me bring you there. Yes. You need to use this microphone.
Okay, let's give a try to Rene. Different data 
to make yourself no more topic. Get meaning by yourself is an individual study and active. Let us more independent to uh, let us more independent talk to learn student become learn to learn student in class participation um, presentation discussion and group work uh, presentation leaders let me and share my feelings to you guys I summarize this course and I learn and what I learn and you can improve my speaking skills, discussion and group work. It can complementary to others, which prone to you don't know you can ask your group members. I believe that they will try their best to help you because my members also help me. You can help them also and we will become better. Finally, I think this course bring me a lot. I not only learn the knowledge from this course, I also reflect in this course. However, I enjoy it. That's my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Wani. Thank you for helping us to understand your course experience. So the next speaker, is it Alexa? Yes. Okay. Online pages like blogs and weeklies, and 
just ask us now. We should all be very familiar with this for all our learning podcasts. More about social networking and e-learning. But aside from learning as a student, I also learn as a person. So throughout all of these, the lectures, I've improved my listening skills. Here presenting today, standing up here, I've improved my speaking skills. And with, through the learning contracts, we, I've improved my reading and writing skills, as well as teamwork. So, Working with these girls was really nice, and I don't think I'd be able to accomplish everything without them. And with all of the work we've been doing, I've also improved my time man management skills. So here are some other some screenshots, and this is already the fixed version. So before my laptop was a mess. So after this again. And here are the journals. So we have 10 journals to do and here's just a list of what I've done and the five blogs and we also all accomplished the two learning contracts. So I just want to give my gratitude and thanks to everyone, to God for his guidance to my friends and family for their patience and understanding, to my group mates for their support, and I wouldn't have finished it without you guys, so thank you to Professor Bat for always teaching us, inspiring us, and of course, patiently and endlessly answering all my questions, which I know was a lot. And to all my fellow classmates for sticking with us, sticking together and completing this class. And for my last slide, are you a learn to learn? Am I a learn to learn student? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Or a maybe? Well, I have to say, I think I'm somewhere in still in between. I'm not a, I'm not a learn to learn student yet, but I know I'm getting there. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Anissa. The next speaker is Rui. Thank you, Rui. Um, 
It helps students to be exposed in modern web technologies such as blogs, po podcasts, wikis, and many more. And also to understand the latest web tools that we are using today. And also we also got to um, explore more about the history and background of about web 2.0 technologies. The course objective uh, of this course are to help students understand web life, web 2.0, and to encourage students to develop and express their views about 2.0 through class presentations, reports, and discussions, and to also help students to be aware of the impact of web 2.0 in our society today. I've learned a lot in this course, but since my time is limited, I will only point out five points. First, I learned how to use Moodle. Uh, this is the only course that actually taught me several ways to use Moodle. Inside it, we got to do journals, discussion forums, blogs, reports, and wiki. Second point is that I learned about digital divide. This was actually a topic I um, did a research on my learning contract number one. So I was actually not aware of this kind of situation until Dr. Bat discussed about it in our class. I was attracted to this topic since I wanted to learn and explore more through it. So here are some important points that I obtained from this. So a divi this is, digital divide is a division between those who have access to the internet and those who do, who do not, who do not. S countries like Western Europe, North America, and parts of Asia are said to be in the fast lane of digital divide, while Africa, like remote areas, um, they don't have any access to the internet. So they, fall, they tend to fall behind in education, labor, and tourism. And I, learned, I also learned about the causes of it, like it can, their economic differences, government, and infrastructures. Structures. And lastly, people are actually making a difference about it. Organizations and foundations are built to bridge the gap. This, um, the next one that I learned was actually a topic I talked about last week with my group mates, which is how to start a business through Facebook. I, I chose this topic because I was more familiar with Facebook than the other topics. So, to briefly talk about it, Facebook is a social network that connects and brings people together. It became a worldwide sensation in 2004. And I found out that there are 40 million business pages created within this year. The top threes are AIG, MetLife, and Edna. And a Facebook, is a, Facebook is a great platform for business purposes to create a business page. And lastly, I got to explore through the steps on how to make a business page on Facebook. The fourth topic I learned in this course is IBL, also known as acquired based learning. In high school, um, our teacher would actually just give us work to study, uh, give us information in what we need to study. So we were kind, somewhat spoon fed. Spoon fed. You can ask Alexa about it since we were high, with, since we were classmates in high school. In this course, I actually. Learn to be a learn to learn student. I learned to synthesize and interpret and evaluate. And with this, I with this, I students can be a better critical thinkers, and they improve their communication and collaborative skills. I, uh, I personally don't like presenting, but in this course, it gave me opportunities to practice and present in class. Um, students 
can be engaged in the classroom and become more independent and creative and this can help improve learning, improve their research and analysis skills. And last but not the least, I learned about teamwork. Um, one cannot possibly do everything, but with your teammates you can do you can achieve more. So here's a quote that I got. Individually we are one drop, but together we are an ocean. And also I gained friendship. I met two new friends. And Regine, it was fun working with you too. I can't do things without you guys. <laughs> That's said, <laughs> thank you. And I would like to thank Dr. Bat for having so much patience and <laughs> giving us the opportunity to learn about web lab and technology. And thank you, everyone. It was nice meeting you all. Thank you. So thank you, Rory. The last speaker today is Sita. Because you sign up for today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Sita would neither change the next one. You want to do it today? Okay, then uh, we have Rico also. Thank you.
brave uh, to speak more in the class. And I think that is very good. And the inquiry based learning is also can help us to improve those because uh, some students they may be very shy to ask the questions uh, to the uh, teachers or find the classmates to help them. But I will uh, sometimes uh, I remember I if I have some problems in in this class I will ask my group mates or the other classmates in this class, they will help us and we will find some information to share in the class. And later we, have, we can discuss the uh, topics and, and we can give us our reflections on that, just like the learning contrast we do in fair and do in team. And uh, the others is the reflective process and now we everyone come up to here to share our reflective and this help us to understand what uh, we have done in this class and and what actually we have learned and do some interesting things in this class and i think the uh in this class we have a lot of maybe uh if you cannot say a lot of job to do uh, we we can know more about our courses or this, uh, the idea in these uh, courses. We have some jobs before class to do or during the class we can see a video or share some ideas in this class. And after class we go to answer the professor's uh, questions and share our, our idea on the online because uh, we did not have enough to time to share uh, in class also. And at the end of the class, we can make a journal or a blog to help us understand all the, all the information and the content in the class. I think that is very good. Uh, and if we can do this uh, in every in every courses, we, I think uh, uh, we will not worry about our exam or test. And uh, we have some assignment to do uh, in this class also. And I think that uh, the most interesting uh, uh, assignment is uh, I enjoy enjoyable topic is uh, I do with the team learning contracts with my three good mates. And we at first um, we join together and we we do not have much time to to face to face to talk, but we continue to solve out the problems and we choose a topic and and later after we finish this we we can make our dig, digital story. That's very interesting because everyone can uh, can read it out, can give some ideas, pain points, and after you finish the whole uh, you can see that uh, that's very uh, 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 your all information is in this so that it can give everyone uh, clear information in this and we every group in in the in this assignment can go come up the class and share sharing the reports to us and every group have these different subjects and we think that uh, the subject we chosen that must be can help us or help the other group mates to know more in, uh, interesting or uh, creative uh, I, uh, topics uh, in others others area and I have also made the uh, le learn to how to make a wiki in uh, UN Moodle. That's uh, very interesting because when you uh, put all the content on this and then you make a, you are a, a, a link to contact it, then you can show show up all the things to the class, then you can learn this. And now we have to do some portfolio. And especially I want to thank uh, for the professor uh, 
because uh, I remember uh, he's very nice to answer my questions after class and and uh, when I have some questions at, at home, I send an email for him and he will answer me and he's very patient to answer and listen to our, our, to our questions and I think uh, the most thing uh, I like him is his voice is very good, I like to hear his voice uh, in the class and I think she's, uh, he's nice to us and I would really like to thank you and my, for my group mates, I want to thank, thank you Dan, uh, they helped me to finish the topic and we have made our cooperations on that. We have some team spirit, share the things together and we have our uh, happiest moments after doing this, uh, doing this, uh, in these courses. So I want to thank for everyone. Thank you, Rico. Thank you very much for all the encouragement that you provide to the whole class so that we can all learn from you. Oh, let's see. Yes. Let me adjust the camera first before I come back to the stage. Yes. You want to say it? Okay. You want to do it now? Yes. Peace. Kessler. Sorry for that. I miss Kessler. So here is Kesley. Good morning, 
Hi everyone, I'm Casey from CIS Geology Board. This is my very first um, speech in this course and in my 82. <laughs> I'm going to share my learning experience in this course um, and I selected five topics which is I uh, interested the most and I learned a lot in this three months. And the first one I would like to share an important topic first which is called independent learning. Um, that is not directly related to the course name web and technology, but it is emphasized was all the time from the very first moment in the class. Um, as all we know how university differ from secondary school, self-motivation will be an important part of our learning. There will not be someone who forced you to study all the time, but instead of this, we ourselves will be our own teachers. With the use of information technology, I think most of us can achieve the part of independent learning, and this is the first thing I want to mention since it's the first idea I get from this course. And also I mentioned information technology just now. Obviously, most of us have heard this term before, not fully understand it. It is the application of the computers and the storage of information online. I learned the basic concept of information technology through this course by the lectures with the help of different kinds of online materials and technical equipment and also the lectures. Um, in fact, that is everywhere, the apps in the phones, in the hand, the record in hospitals is closely related to us and I feel more comfortable with the use of IT since I keep using it through this semester. And the third part I want to share must be blogs, photo sharing and Wikipedia, which is the topic I'm in charge of in the first learning contract, as a non-frequent blogger, I lost so many updated information during these days. I know more about the uh, blogs and the photo sharing sites nowadays, like the uh, Kusan Sangar, which is <laughs> our own memory <laughs> in the past. <laughs> Moreover, with the rising cyber crimes, it reminds me to be more aware when using all these sites. Even when we using Wikipedia, we should be responsible for every word. And these ideas is able to be used in our daily life too. And then e-learning is the main discussion topic in my learning project three. While doing the research on the topic, I found myself is exactly doing what this works talks about. I use the information and resources online, visit the websites which offer online courses, and these actions made me more get into e-learning. This educational technology improves my learning quality, and I finally can enjoy myself in e-learning. Last but not least, I found teamwork is very important in this course. As all of you know, the workload is not light at all. I cannot finish all the necessary stuff by my two own hands. I learn to communicate and cooperate with my teammates, and this must be one of the most important learning in this course. And now come to the very last part of my semester speech. And I would like to thank all of you to be here for three months and fight for the assignments together. It's my fortune to meet you all. And that's all of my sharing. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Kesley. Thank you very much for your efforts and your nice speech. OK, allow me to do the routine work of taking attendance before I let you go. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. 
Julia is here, Alexa is here, Rory is here, uh, Annie is here, right? Annie? Not here today, okay. And then Daryl is here, Nicholas is here, uh, Tom is here, Haley is here, Rachel is here, uh, Kathleen, Sita, Tommy, uh, Ariel is not here today, thank you. Renee is here, Kenneth, thank you. All right, so Abia, thank you, Coco, Hector, Eric, and Virginia. So we're looking forward to the speech of the semester next Monday. And remember, next Monday is the official day we have to do the student feedback questionnaire. So come back and enjoy. All right, see you all next Monday. Uh, I've sent out the teacher's message of week number 13. This morning, please study the message in order not to miss anything in your e-portfolio. Alright? Great.